seeing into the future. Try to get you. This is Rackspace's continuing coverage of TechCrunch Disrupt 2013. Now here's Robert Skoll. Hey, I'm Robert Scoble, and we're at the uh, startup liaison uh, studio at Rackspace at TechCrunch 2013. Um, and we're meeting all sorts of interesting entrepreneurs who are doing interesting things with either wearables or mobile. And this one company has figured out a way to uh, keep your phone connected even in a really bad network environment. So it's going to be interesting to talk to them. So who are you? I'm Albert Schulman, and I founded Bilal. And uh, we've developed a solution to, to allow people to stay connected to the internet, even on their mobile, even when you have very poor or no connectivity. So how, how do you, well, first of all, there's places where there's just no connectivity. I was in Yellowstone a couple of weeks ago, and there is no cell phone, no SMS, well, no nothing. Well, so if, how do you keep me no, connected no, no, there? No, I cannot do that. I mean, right. you know, I need something to, to just, it's not magical. So, so we need at least the 2G to be working, that you can at least send SMS or give a call. Okay. But that's all we need. With this, we have a, a whole cloud, cloud servers and the operation in the and, and the, uh, the application on the on the uh, Android now yep. that allow us using the SMS to send back and forth all the commands so that you can stay and have your email, uh, email, Twitter that you can go for the weather forecast for find something around you whether it's a hospital or whatever. Okay, so it, inside big buildings, a lot of times you get a really yep. degraded uh, network environment you still might have sms so that's sort of what you're building for somewhere that there still is sms connectivity yeah. but not a 4g uh, connectivity where or in areas like indoor where you get very poor 3g or 4g connectivity because i mean 3g is not always great sometimes yeah. it's it's poor it can be edge and your email don't come you cannot go into the internet then we've because we've compressed a lot of the data to go through the sms we use that also to allow you to stay connected at a normal path normal speed uh, using B-Bound even when it's very poor in connectivity. So it's when it's poor connectivity or no data connectivity, but still at least 2G so connectivity. You, you're doing a lot of compression and that'll be interesting to see if this technique becomes usable in wearable computers with uh, low energy Bluetooth, which you don't want to throw a lot of packets around because that wears no. out batteries, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah we, well, we, we are discussing with Park Palo Resource Center now yeah about all these subjects and they're going to help us put it on all these wearables, whether the watch or the, the glasses, because I mean, it's very close to what we do in terms of interest because we use very small packets. Yeah. How are you going to make money with this? Do you charge me for the app or how, how no, do you? No, the app is going to be, is for free. Okay. But when you use it on 3G Wi-Fi, it's going to be for free. When you use it on 2G, you're going to have to buy some prepaid credit for $3, 5 I mean, very cheap stuff. And then you use it on the go. It's more like a, you know, kind of a Swiss knife. You've got this in your pocket. You buy three, three dollars. You've got the 3G Wi-Fi. You can use whenever your low connectivity. But when you really need it, and you are in Yellowstone, and the, wow, I, I, I was wounded. I need to call somebody, or I'm looking for something. I got no other solution. I've got this. Yeah. So it's kind of the Swiss knife you got in your pocket. Just does it case. automatically switch back and forth? So if I'm back in the back and there's no Wi-Fi, does it automatically switch on and switch off? Well, not yet. It's only the better. And also because, I mean, there are some rules that we have to respect within the, what the, the phones allow us to do. We cannot switch on and off just like that unless you actively accept it or, or want it. Okay. So we're still working on it. I mean. So I start up your app. If I'm in the back and it doesn't, the 4G is not working, I start up your app. Does it show that I have connectivity to your servers? Yes, we have, we have a, a, a connectivity analyzer that shows you how your connectivity is in 3G, 4G, how it is in 2G so that you know what is the best network to use. Okay. And then you don't put a lot of messages in my SMS client, do you? No, no. Okay. Nothing appears in your SMS client. Okay. That's, no, no, because could be a, that would be a pain in the back, yeah. Okay, cool. So it, it uses SMS, but it doesn't Absolutely. Any well, it uses SMS only when you get only 2G, because when you've got 3G or 4G, the, it, we have still compressed everything, but it's not through SMS. Yeah. It's through your, your plan. So it doesn't add anything to your plan. You don't pay anything. Could I use it? So at, at AT&T Park, when there's uh, 40,000 people there, uh, a lot of times I can't even make a call, but the, the AT&T network is still up. Can I, use yeah. the S, can I use your app and force SMS to work in that kind of situation, yes. even though it says there's 4G available? Yes, of course. You okay. can decide to, to switch off or on whatever, ah, okay. and then you, it's your choice. I mean, our idea is 
you have to be able to manage the thing the way you want. And if you want to go on the high connectivity, low speed, you do it. If you want to move to the 2G, it's your choice. I mean, that's yeah. really the, the, the way we want to do it. Okay, cool. Um, where do we get it? So it's, in, it's, terms, in terms of uh, uh, services? What, yeah, what, how do I search the app store for it? What's the name? Okay, that's on Android first. Okay, yeah. that's going to be online in two weeks, almost or three, before the end of the month. Okay. In a better version. We are still ending uh, some of the tests and finalizing everything on the Google Play. Yeah. And, um, and at that time, you can, you'll be able to so download. So you have a web page to go sign up for it? Absolutely. Okay. Well, you, you can even do it now. If you want to sign as a beta tester, you can see it and you can download it. Cool. Let's Let's see what it looks like, just so I know what it. What okay, it looks so like. so when you go on, on your phone, and you click on Be Bound, yeah, then you've got all these apps that we have developed, like you know, finding a restaurant or food or or, or pharmacy, and if I, I show you the way here, the email part, you know, it's just an, another email client that works also on 2G, yeah, and um, if for instance, let, let's let's go with weather forecast. I'm gonna do Palo Alto because I know it's going to be sunny, so that's nicer on the screen. Yeah. So I like this one. So here we have encoded, compressed, and encrypted the, uh, the SMS with, uh, and you see it's very quick, yeah? Yeah. And it's been sent to a server, processed to the internet, encoded, compressed, and sent back. And you've got the weather forecast for the four days. Very cool. Okay, that's the way it works. So this comes out in a couple of weeks. It's free on Android Play. You're yeah. just going to search for VBound. Absolutely. Very cool. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Have a great day. Cool. And we'll be back at 10 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow morning with our Google Glass wearable $10,000 uh, developer contest. We're going to be uh, seeing uh, several of the uh, finalists uh, present their demos, and then we're going to decide on the uh, winner tomorrow morning. And we'll have a couple of other things in the afternoon tomorrow from TechCrunch Disrupt 2013. Thank you for joining us. Seeing into the future live. Rackspace's continuous coverage of TechCrunch Disrupt 2013 will continue in a moment. Fast and reliable streaming with cloud files. Find out more at rackspace.com. Still to come, the winner of the Rackspace Develop It, Wear It, Win It contest. Somebody's taking home $10,000. Find out who 